Hey guys, got a quick video here. Um, today we're going to talk about the um, one of the most annoying thing parts of using the Doriani's prototype chest, um, and that is the um, your lightning resistance to damage over time is basically zero or uh, you, nothing, right? So you die pretty fast to any kind of lightning degen. And with the Arch Nemesis uh, modifiers, GGG kindly, you know, kindly introduced a, a lightning degen. Uh, so maybe this is like they released it to kind of keep Doriani's prototype builds in check, or I don't know, I don't know what they're thinking. But anyways, it's in the game. It doesn't look like it's going to be gone. So um, let's go over a couple of things you can do to kind of. Um, Make them a little bit more manageable and um, maybe you know uh, stop you from getting some you know gray hairs and stuff like that all right so this is a clip from 3.19 this was like um i think my character uh was this was like week one and i just got into simulacrum um and uh, I don't know what I was doing here. All right, this is like wave. Uh, it, it's like twenty-five plus, and so let's see. So we're killing uh, Omniphobia. Uh, it's pretty slow. We don't, you know, we don't have all their flasks up all the time. Okay, he's dead. We're gonna go, you know, clear the rest of the mobs, and out of nowhere, we're just dead. All right, so this, um, this is a problem, right? And one of the most annoying things about you can see the guy here. He's just kind of like chilling out here. Um, the effect of this ring, I don't know if you guys saw that, but you start taking damage before it's visible sometimes. So you can see here, see, I'm like, let me just play it slowly. Uh, let's watch it in like slow motion, right? So we're, okay, well, maybe, maybe it is. You do start taking damage as soon as it shows up, but it it seems like in when you're in game, okay. So I guess yeah, you're you're taking damage like insanely fast, right? Um, pretty much no way you can escape this kind of death, or is there right? So, um, one thing you might notice is my mana is at zero, and you look at our skills, we can't actually cast our smite during this time. Um, so I guess smites are still, okay, the smite stops. And when the smite stops is basically when I'm, I'm dying, right? Because if I could keep attacking or maybe like leap slam, or in this case, you know, flame dash, um, I might've been able to like pop in here. I think I was actually trying to spam my flame dash to, you know, jump on the mob, but uh, you know, you can't do it because you don't have mana to cast your flame dash. Okay, so first of all, and you know, this might sound kind of um, not really like tips, right? I mean, because there's not really much you can do to, you know, um, survive these guys. Um, they're going to get you and you just kind of have to accept that fact if you're playing the Doriani's build. But anyways, first, first of all, let's uh, get to level 100. Uh, this honestly is uh, one of the best tips I can give. Um, once you hit level 100, dying doesn't really, you know, uh, hurt hurt you that much. I mean, if you honestly, when you die, like, you know, what what's annoying about dying in Path of Exile, at least for me, right, is I lose XP. Uh, maybe if you're doing a hard map, losing a portal might be annoying too. But, but you know, the main thing about dying is you're losing XP, and that's, that's what kind of, like, gets to you, right? So get to level 100, and... Um, Honestly, like when I die to these guys now, it's kind of like funny for me, you know. Like, I have like this. Um, imagine like Chris Wilson in the back of my head, and he's like, you know, like laughing. Yeah, hey, gotcha. It's kind of like it, it, it really changes uh, when you die, uh, makes it a little bit less annoying. Okay, um, next is if we use these minus mana cost crafts on our ring and actually make our smite. Or whatever your skill is costs zero mana um you can still do things even though you have zero mana so if we go back here um and over here right so if i actually had my skills costing zero mana 
I could still flame dash. I could I could have jumped in here, right? Uh, I could have still used my smite. Um, so having your skill cost zero mana, your movement skill cost zero mana will actually save you a lot of time, a lot of the times because you can still react and move around. You can you know jump on them, jump away, do whatever you want, right? Um, so that's uh, very. Um, I think this is very important. Um, ever since I started doing this craft and getting my my movement skill and my you know attack skill down to zero mana, I noticed that I'm able to survive when these guys like you know get the jump on you a lot more than uh, before. Uh, okay, so have over four K ES. Um, see in uh, this first clip, I only have three thousand. 300 ES, you know, and um, I think I found that if you have about 4K plus ES, you have about two seconds of time before before you die. Uh, with about, you know, if you're only at 3K, then you have like less than, less than two seconds, and it's usually not enough time to react. So get more ES, uh, it'll give you, um, well, I should probably put D&D. &D. Uh, sorry guys. So it'll give you some more time to react. Um, one second, 1.5 seconds. It's not really enough time to react to this, these kind of guys. You want at least two, two to three seconds, right? So, uh, getting a lot of ES definitely helps. Um, uh, okay. And let's see. Uh, you can also use this Keystone Leaf, Leaf, uh, Leaf Shade. Hope I spelled that right. To, um help reduce damage over time. We can check it out in game. Uh, it is over here. So uh, take 50% less damage over time if you started taking damage over time in the past second. And of course it comes with the downside of 100% uh, more duration of ailments on you. Um, so with this, um, you will have one more second basically right one more second to react so if you already had two seconds time to react now you have three so this in combination with having 4k es having this mana cost craft so your skills don't cost mana so you can still react um those three should make them a bit more manageable right okay and another thing we can talk about is divine shield plus aegis aurora to outstate out sustain the damage we look up at the regen. Hope you guys can see it. We are going like 5,000, 6,000 ES regen per second. And I think later on in the clip, we actually see these mana guys. And if there's a lot of mobs hitting you, then you can out regen the damage they do, basically. Like, I don't know what they did, but this league, it seems like you're encountering these mana, mana guys a lot more than 3.19. Like 3.19, it was like, you know, once every two to three simulacrums, you might get one of them. Now it's like every every simulacrum, you get like three or four, you know? <laughs> so they definitely increase the the spawn chance of this mod, which is uh, very annoying. But yeah, so we're out. Um, in some situations, you know, you will be able to out sustain with those, with this combination of. Um, Aegis Aurora, and Divine Shield. Okay, guys, so that's it. It was a short video. Um, hopefully, this kind of helps you guys to manage these uh, very annoying mobs. And if GGG, if one of you guys are listening, please delete this uh, modifier. No one likes it. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, guys. And uh, see you next time.